Hello, my name is Oliver DeFreitas, and today we'll be going over the technique that goes into a track runner's form and movement. There are a lot of intricate parts of this process, but first we will start out with blocks. When you first step into the blocks, you'll want to imagine yourself as a spring as you walk into your blocks and load yourself into them. This will give you the most explosive potential possible into getting out. In the blocks, you should be comfortable enough to get into your set position, but not too comfortable enough to the point where you don't get enough power to really drive out of there as hard as you can. Next, we'll look at the set position. Now in this video, they don't have us using blocks, but still, you can see, get into the set position. First, you'll notice my arms. You would see that I don't have them above the white line because that would be an automatic disqualification. Instead, I have them behind. You can see that my waist is higher than my head by a good margin, which is also good. That will give you enough power to really push out. And then after that, we start going to our dry phase. You can see my first step right there is above the white line. You always want it ahead of the white line. That's how you know you're making a good step forward. You don't want to chop your feet. You don't want any loss of motion. Big arms, big arms all the way through until I reach the yellow triangle. Once I reach the yellow triangle, I know I can start easing my way upwards. So now we're leaving the dry phase and we're now just in a sprint. Right there, that's a mistake I made. I have my I have my fist clenched when instead, you'll see in a second, I loosen up my arms. See how my foot, that's how you know I'm on the balls of my feet. Let me let me go back a little bit. Right there, balls of my feet. You never want your heel to touch the ground because that's also will cause you to lose some motion. And then at the end, this video doesn't show it fully, but when you're going through the line, you want to push five to 10 meters past the line so you don't lose any valuable seconds.